they they must try as possible to to uh, speak truth to power. Mm. Uh, so basically, these are the thinness of um, what you call that underpins leadership that we inculcate in our students. And we believe that in this time and age, um, I realize that um, it's very important that um, mm. students of today. When they come out, they are not, especially in journalism, you know, mm -hmm. you have to be bold enough mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. speak truth mm -hmm. to power. Mm -hmm. You don't have to just join the queue and um, mm -hmm. everybody is doing political mm -hmm. uh, reporting. Mm -hmm. You got to be inquisitive. You got to mm -hmm. do something um, that is out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. And it takes a thinker, it takes a leader. I mean, I came to your studio, I see some of um, the pictures here, Kwame Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. this, this, uh, mm -hmm. These were mm -hmm. people who. More or less, for want of a better word, they broke the rules mm -hmm. or, or, or they didn't follow the order. Otherwise, maybe Ghana wouldn't have attained independence. So mm -hmm. we, we, we speak to our students. We train them so that they will be able to take that initiative. They will dare in order to achieve really what they ought to achieve. And this character trait is what we believe that when you bring into the journalism mm -hmm. field, it's also very important so that um, our students or um, people who, are, who become future journalists mm -hmm. or communicators, mm -hmm. they should be able to do something out of the ordinary. In fact, mm -hmm. in journalism, we have something we call the agenda setting. Okay. And then uh, we also know that um, journalists or uh, the profession is uh, termed as the fourth estate of the realm. In mm -hmm. effect, we are leaders in a field. Mm -hmm. and so what do we do to enhance development, bring about development? Mm -hmm. A leader leads in order to bring a certain sort of, um, uh, 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 bring some relief, if mm -hmm. you want, to, to his people. Mm -hmm. And it is these same qualities that we inculcate in students as being leaders mm -hmm. who will champion the course of development. Otherwise, if you want to stay back, how do we then ensure that development is, uh, uh, comes a, a about or, or mm -hmm. people do enjoy? So. Really, these are um, the basic or some of the tenets we inculcate in them uh, as future leaders so that when they come, they also become, uh, what do you call, partners and contributors in, uh, in the development. They become stakeholders yes, in development, exactly. not just, you know, followers. Yes, exactly. The reason why I ask that question is because most of the times when people hear journalist or journalism, they just imagine or the picture that is in their minds are people who report, people who sit down to... Um, broadcast news, people who serve as a medium through uh, between the society and then the government to report what the people need to the government and then communicate back what the government is saying to the people. That is the picture that people have in their heads. I was thinking, why are we trying to put, you know, leadership? Because our job is just sit down, report what you have, and then go back to your house. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a great initiative that you people have decided to put yeah. or inculcate into the life of uh, students. Let me take your take on that. And then we'll but if, on if you permit me, okay. I would want to add something. You see, mm. I mentioned that um, um, journalism, there's a, there's a theory in journalism about agenda setting. Mm -hmm. um, basically, when they set the agenda, we expect people to really um, understand what we want them to understand by way of the information we share. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you appreciate that we lead them by the news we publish mm -hmm. so that yeah. if I want Mr. A to understand or um, really follow or be part of a certain advocacy, mm -hmm. it is what I publish that the person will follow. Okay. So in effect, even the news we break is mm -hmm. a form of a leadership initiative mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. taken for mm -hmm. readers mm -hmm. to follow. So you can just imagine a, a journalist who um, decides to um, publish I mean, false information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine mm -hmm. what the society mm -hmm. will be mm -hmm. like? So Especially I, in a society that we do not like reading. We just take the headlines and then we exactly, are good to go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And in an era of fake news and all that, mm -hmm. if a journalist decides that he, he's, he's one, he wants to specialize in doing fake news, mm -hmm. you can just imagine the mm -hmm. mayhem, the chaos, the chaos. that, that mm -hmm. would be in, in mm -hmm. society. So basically, we believe that um, the people we train, the students we train, mm -hmm. we, we try as much as possible for them to do what is right mm. because people are looking up to them not in terms of their persona but in terms of also what they publish for people to mm. read yeah. oh okay yeah. not in persona but in in rem <laughs> anyway mm -hmm. so let me take uh, your take on that then we can move to the next question well i mean um it's pretty much said everything um mm. one thing that blue Crest stands for is the light approach mm. and we don't just use that for certain you know departments mm. or school 
it goes across all of our schools. Okay. So, you know, leadership, we want diverse leaders. We want people who are able to think on their feet, mm. who can innovate. Mm. We want people to be engineers. Exactly. Mm. We want people to, you know, technologies. We want tech entrepreneurs. We want, um, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit. Mm. So, ideally, it should go through all of this department, whether or not it's or you're a journalist and you should just do one thing. Mm -hmm. There's that mm -hmm. diversity mm -hmm. there in mm -hmm. all of this, um, you know, in the approach that we're using you know, teaching the students and making sure that we create world-class um, leaders at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So when we take the technology aspect of this world, mm. uh, especially in our, media, in our media field, we see that technology has really transformed our journalism. Because previously, it's just communication centers. You sit at your home and then you hear it somewhere, or you go to the center where it is mounted, and then you just listen. You don't even know the person who is speaking. Yeah. And then you move to radio without any live or anything so when you work on radio stations most of them it's it's rumored that you don't, they don't even wear slippers they don't wear shoes because nobody is seeing you you are just enjoying yourself and then communicating but now it's like a live tv it's it's just basically like what i'm doing right now yeah. you're on radio but people are also watching you on facebook exactly what what is the effect of this technology in our journalism has it made it uh, more difficult because people people who were more comfortable you know not being known are now forced to be known so far as they're working on radio has it helped the media fraternity in any way yes um to a very large extent i mm. mean um, technology has transformed um journalism in so many ways mm -hmm. now you come to realize that i mean you don't follow the old pattern of having mm -hmm. to go to the press and mm -hmm. i started mm -hmm. doing my journalism with a with a print house and you can just imagine i mean mm -hmm. uh, sometimes mm -hmm. your your machine is broken now mm -hmm. and you, you have, have to finish. wait it, it's, it's stressful mm -hmm. you know but now uh, you don't you don't even though they are still important um, technology has made it possible for you to reach your audience in real time mm, yeah. faster mm -hmm. quicker and even cheaper mm -hmm. you know and now you see it is an advantage that you are we are now no more um, users or co-creators mm -hmm. but we we are able to um, do quite a lot of things you know mm -hmm. it is giving us the platform to be innovative to be creative mm -hmm. to explore mm -hmm. are you getting my yeah. point and I, I believe that for us as um, journalists and of course um, students who are we are training to also uh, leverage the advantages that technology brings on board i mean you should be able to do basically everything and uh, not anything per se but everything mm -hmm. possible mm -hmm. that you want to do in order to influence society Positively. positively yeah. so i mean today you need not to own a newspaper you need mm -hmm. not to mm -hmm. own a radio station before you communicate with your audiences mm -hmm. i mean today i mean most of our students for instance we have courses like online journalism mm -hmm. uh, where we, we, we just uh, an, uh, what do you call it, a smartphone mm -hmm. you can do so many things communicate to people people have blogs people have blogs mm -hmm. yeah, people mm -hmm. have twitter mm -hmm. people have facebook youtube, YouTube. Yeah. so, so the, see, technology has made communication easier mm. but um you see the reason why we also believe in the leadership of uh, leadership aspect of our training is that mm. you see in as much as technology has made journalism easier yeah it also calls to question your the need for people to be to be honest mm. to be to be upright for want mm. of a better word mm. because you see in just in the comfort of your own home if you don't take care you may be publishing things that you ought not to. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my yeah. point? But with knowing that you are a leader, mm -hmm. people are following you. Mm -hmm. In as much as you have the opportunity to say everything, we say that as a leader, don't say anything. Mm. Because people are watching you. People mm. are looking at you as an example. Mm. So, so basically, we believe that um, it is to our advantage and, uh, and it's helping a lot of people. Um, to really um, communicate in a more mm. easier way as compared to 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 uh, what do you call it, other media form. In fact, I mentioned that uh, when you look at it in the past, mm. I mean you would have to buy a newspaper. Mm -hmm. In fact, can you imagine 
you are staying as far as places I may not be able to mention. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, take, it takes days mm -hmm. before course, a newspaper will, will get there. Yeah. Now, with, mm -hmm. with access mm -hmm. to internet, mm -hmm. you, you just don't need it. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my? We don't need to wait for two days before, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> People in my village will have to still wait for that two days because there's no internet connection in my village. So you go there, you, you just hop into a different network. <laughs> it will get there soon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so in, in fact, when you look at the in, in international media mm -hmm. today, even the um, so as, as you mean to say the so-called big newspapers mm -hmm. on a global scene, all of them are migrating from print mm -hmm. to to uh, what do you, uh, yes digital. Mm -hmm. digital. Okay. Are you getting yeah. so like that like the the like people will say it is the age of our today. Mm -hmm. That is what we ought to follow because that is what really people um, buy into. So mm. we believe that we can't train people without letting them know the advantages these things offer, mm. the need for you to use it. In fact, you, you, I mean, you know that today people make a lot of money mm. even yeah, uh, yeah, be yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Some, people, some people have even quit their jobs uh, to just yeah. stay at home and do uh, online uh, business. But but my, my question is, mm -hmm. um, Eke. Is it Eke? Onyeka, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Onyeka. Yeah. So, my question is, because of that, has it not done us more harm? Because I'm taking it from this aspect. Yeah. Previously, before you would call somebody a journalist, mm -hmm. before you would call somebody a news presenter, it means this person has gone through education, mm -hmm. has a certificate to yeah. show, and when the person sits to speak, you know that, ah, this person is truly a journalist. But now, no, no disrespect to anybody. Anybody at all can just pick a smartphone yeah. and then produce anything, report anything at all on their page, on wherever they want to, wherever they sit at the comforts of their home. And then they speak how they want, no education to show, not, not necessarily certificates when I say education. Like they haven't gone through the process. They just woke up one morning and decided that they know how to speak English. So, has it not done us more harm than good? Um, okay, so, you know, everything has its good side and its mm. bad side. So, mm. you know, we would say technology has, you know, its advantages and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. And for me, I would see those people, you know, they have the, let's say, they have the flair to do something more. Mm. You know, they think they can do it at the comfort of their homes. Mm. And I think it's left for people like us who understand that, you know, for you to do this, you need to go through a certain process. Mm. It's not left for us to encourage them as, okay, you know, go through the right educational process. Because if, if back in the days, we were so um, fixed on joining the science department, you know, mm -hmm. we wanted to do, mm -hmm. us was like, nah, unless you don't want to be a doctor or something. Mm -hmm. So now we have people who are really interested in that space. And what we can do is just encourage them. I said, okay, you know what? You have the talent. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, you can put some stories together. Maybe you're not communicating mm -hmm. professionally mm -hmm. as a journalist who has gone through the whole the process. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's not a force to encourage these people. Mm -hmm. To ensure that we empower them and they know that, okay, we need to do this before you can actually be in this um, particular space mm. and be eloquent when mm, you're yeah, speaking. Yeah, speaking mm. yes. and, and, and to add to that, you see, that is where great institutions like Blue Press come mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You, know, that, you see, we, people need to be trained how mm -hmm. to go about these things. It's not like you mentioned. It's not just about picking a phone yeah. because you have a phone. Mm -hmm. It's not that just about publishing something because you can write English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not because you have, have taken a certain shot so you can easily publish it. Mm -hmm. No. You need training. You need training. Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. And that is what we do at Blue Crest University. Mm -hmm. We train people to be ethical. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. ethical journalism. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it is a free for all. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be doing anything, yeah. and that is wrong. Mm -hmm. So yes, it has, like my colleague said, it has its own advantages. Mm -hmm. But you see, the in order not to fall prey to the disadvantages, yeah. we say that come and be trained, mm -hmm. come and know the way out, so that you will not be counted among the bad nuts. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. through the training that you get at Blue Cross University, mm -hmm. you become the champion, the leader that people will be looking out mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it seems to me that these days, uh, because of technology and because because of innovation, media media people are being you know raised to be on their own. 
for example, previously, before you would have a show or before you would have anything aired on television, you have to go and buy the airtime mm -hmm. at huge sums of monies. But now you can sit at your home, create your own YouTube page, and then get money out of it. Is it bad business for people who are in the media sector, people who own TV stations? Or is it good for young people who are now getting into uh, the media industry? And then my other question that will follow that question is that if that is good business, then years ahead, how would it be like? How do you see the future, the future of, of media? Would it become more smarter? Because now if you don't have a smart TV in your house, if you don't have a TV that you can um, log your netflix in oh, you don't YouTube. have or okay. your youtube in it looks like you are a cake or something of that sort would it become more smarter and would it affect uh, the people who are churning into it in, in any way um thank you see these are all that is these are realities mm. that we must um appreciate that mm -hmm. it has come to stay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there's a way out there's always a way out. Mm. It's true. I mean, today, sometimes, I wonder how do media organizations able to, mm -hmm. I mean, stay in business. Mm. Media mm. sustainability mm -hmm. is another, mm -hmm. another big yeah. area altogether. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I mean, because of some of the things you have mentioned, I mean, you are on your own. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. do, you don't need a media mm. house. You're a freelancer. I mean, yeah. people mm -hmm. are doing stuff. Mm. But you see, in as much as uh, it may affect an organizational revenue, mm -hmm. you know, it is also a way of creating employment for people okay. individually without necessarily chasing the jobs at um, institutions where they can only employ just a few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So today you have a lot of so it is tied into our, our light approach. It is tied into what do you call it um, entrepreneurship. Yeah, sure. yeah. Are you getting yeah. my point? So today people when you know the unemployment situation across the group. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I people write letters and they are rejected. They are not nobody mind them. You got to do something. Mm -hmm. So we say that Using the light up with the innovation part of it, be creative, mm -hmm. think outside the box. Mm -hmm. So it is that creativity, that craving to do something in order to survive. I mean, that is why I think that one technology has aided this, this uh, what do you call it, the drive to be on your own. Because you see, otherwise, I, I, I'm just imagining how, how are people who have finished school. And then the media houses that mm -hmm. have finished mm -hmm. employing, for want of a better expression, mm -hmm. how are they going to, I mean, get them in? So we'll I have think to that sit at home and pray for them. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so for me, it is good in a sense, mm -hmm. you know. Now, for the media, big media organization, in fact, uh, there is a model, I mean, where people really in these days mm -hmm. do not necessarily um, employ quite a number of people. Mm -hmm. They make good use of these people. So if you have content, bring it. We partner. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that at least you get some. Me too, I get some. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? So I think that the way forward for, for the individual is good. It's good business for the mm -hmm. person. But for me, big media organizers, this, time, this is the time we have to do a little more or more partnership, mm -hmm. get content from people because, of course, nobody is a sole repository of knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get the people, mm -hmm. let's do it together. And then at the end of the day, all of us will be winners. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? So to that extent, I think that it is not bad. It is good uh, when you look at it by and large. Mm, yeah. I don't know whether I've answered that. You've answered that question, but the latter part of it, I'll come mm -hmm. back to you. I want to take Onyeke's uh, opinion on that. No, I mean, it, it's it's... It has its downside and it has its, mm. you know, good side. Mm. So at the end of the day, we, like I always say something, like now mm. that we're in the digital space where data, you know, the digital space is moving ahead and mm -hmm. it's just moving, we can't keep up. There's always something new. Mm -hmm. There's always mm -hmm. a new platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say to people, traditional advertising isn't dead yet. Mm -hmm. It's still there. Or traditional mm -hmm. media, it's not dead yet. It's mm -hmm. still there. We'll still make use of it. But when was the last time you read a newspaper? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was, I was like, okay. Because I don't remember the last time I saw one personally. I'm like, mm -hmm. 
when I see this, I'm like, oh, these things do exist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you know, you know, if you look at the elderly people, that's why mm, we usually, mm, when you yeah. have a product, you mm. have a different target audience. You yeah. know, the elderly yeah. people would, you know where to find them. Mm -hmm. The young people, you know where to catch them. So that's why you have to find a balance when it comes to media. Mm. The digital space, is, of course, is booming. Mm. It's different platforms it's than anything. It's thriving. It's thriving. It's, and it's out of this space. Yeah. Yeah. Because you would wake up today, you would buy a smart TV today, mm -hmm. And tomorrow you would buy another one and it will be smarter than, than the other one. So I'm like, so what should I do with my smart one? I mean, <laughs> I think for, we just need to keep up with the trend. As an institution, as you know, companies, you have to follow what's next. What, are, what do we need to adapt to? What do we need to mm. evolve into mm. in the moment? So even newspapers, as you do, obviously, if, you, if um, a business wants to go into advertising, mm -hmm. they know that if... For your target audience, you're probably going to check online for news or mm -hmm. any information. Mm -hmm. They know where to find you. Mm -hmm. If it's for elderly people, they know that the elderly people still want to read the newspaper. The newspaper it's yes. how they, they grew up and it's what they know, mm -hmm. irrespective of what is you know going on digitally. So mm -hmm. I think it's just finding the balance in there and you know mm -hmm. trying to fit it in. Yeah, th th That comes back to my question of how smart would her media space be? Because mm -hmm. these days... Things are just moving at, at at the speed of wind. Like it's just moving. So, how how do you see our media space in the next five years? Wow, mm. you see, I think that we got to move with the flow. Mm. Mm. Otherwise, we'll be left behind. Mm -hmm. You know, let's take advantage of what is happening. Yeah, mm. sometimes yeah, people make the argument that uh we are not there yet i yeah. mean we are not resourced <laughs> enough i believe that mm -hmm. you see you you may not be able to achieve something on your own but is it possible that we will get to a, a, a we'll get to a point where media houses mm -hmm. will come together mm -hmm. in order to capture a bigger space have bigger resources have bigger in terms platform. of partnership yes. that they partner yeah. exactly oh, okay. because you see if we would, all of us will continue doing things individually, mm. individually. How long can we catch up? Because individually, the profit is chopped. Yeah. <laughs> if I but partner with you, it, yeah, no, I think you not, create it, a powerhouse. See, no, it is not thing. always the case. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my yeah. point? It may appear that, okay, if I work alone, I'll get a lot. But it is not always not the case. case. You see, when you partner, mm. the possibility of capturing a bigger market, doing greater things, yeah. is there. And I think that, uh, for me, uh, it's one of the challenges I'm, I'm finding with our media space mm -hmm. that everybody wants to do something on, your on own. their yeah. own. Let's yeah. come together. Let's do things together. Mm -hmm. Let's be united. It's not by units, but partnership. Mm -hmm. Are you getting mm -hmm. my point? Let's, let's uh, what do you call it, bring our resources together so that if I'm maybe um, a television station, a radio station, mm -hmm. media house per se, is able to reach, let's say, as far as, Kintampo. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can have another media house that can go beyond Kintampo. Can you imagine when we okay. come together, yeah. the audience, the revenue mm -hmm. in terms of mm -hmm. advertisement, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, those who advertise want to see your reach. Mm -hmm. Are you getting mm -hmm. my point? So mm -hmm. if you have a very good reach, uh, can you just imagine. So it's good. And I think that, yes, we, 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 won't, we won't lag behind but we should look at means by which we can catch up. Mm. And it is there. People have done. When you go to, uh, what do you call it, you read international media, you realize that, I mean, they come together. They mm. form unity. I mean, with organizations, uh, with, uh, what do you call it, with their own, in order to capture a bigger market. So you ask uh, an interesting question. How smart can we be? I mean, you see, truth is that um, technology will keep changing. I get it. Obviously. It, and it will not necessarily make what you are using today obsolete. Mm. What? But, but on a real, on, on a very serious note, if you are holding iPhone 5 mm -hmm. as at now, <laughs> and somebody is holding X or XX Max, mm -hmm. I mean, it makes yours absolute or something. It, it, yes, it may appear so, mm. but you can still do something with it. Are you getting it? You see, you see, uh, uh, the, 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 you see, in the light approach to mm. um, journalism training, yeah. it's an aspect called innovation, also creativity. Mm -hmm. See, the African is, is in, inborn in him is that element of creativity. Mm. See, otherwise, look at us. We don't have so many things that we see the, the developed countries do have. Mm. 
But look at the things we are we are able to do. Mm -hmm. are, are you getting my point? Yeah. So sometimes you may not have the resources, mm -hmm. but we say think outside the box. Mm. It's possible. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So I think that we should not restrict ourselves to say that okay, we put our hands in in, in between our lives and say, mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. we don't have it, so we are waiting till we get it, then uh, we can do something. While you wait, people are moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use what you have in order to get what you don't have. So let's look at ways the by which. Yeah, <laughs> 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 let's look at ways by which uh, we can we can we can take advantage of resources available mm -hmm. and get and get to the world stage. And I, I always want to re uh, emphasize the point that mm -hmm. see. Um, in the light approach to um, education, mm -hmm. innovation is very important. See, today um, I mentioned earlier that most journalists, perhaps most is not fair. You you see journalists always doing political uh, mm -hmm. reporting, mm -hmm. maybe sports, maybe but, entertainment. Because, because those areas seem to be the most lucrative parts. You know, uh, if uh, you're a reporter and you mm -hmm. report politically or you report on politics, whenever you go there, there are certain... Um, monies or certain allowances that you get that but you get. exactly but the other sectors if you decide to uh, get yourself in because everybody almost everybody is into entertainment so if you go into entertainment it's like you you've joined the club welcome um i i bet to differ okay you see if you look at it critically mm -hmm. i mean i've been doing some work and mm -hmm. i look at it um, i look at funders mm -hmm. who are prepared to support journalism work mm -hmm. areas like science journalism environmental journalism mm -hmm. lot of funding mm -hmm. but people are mm -hmm. constrained to political general where you have a lot of people i mean mm -hmm. a lot of people I think, that yeah, and i think that this is a time for journalists and of course people we are training mm -hmm. and we we put it in them that mm -hmm. hey look at other fields of journalism it's mm -hmm. not only about politics mm -hmm. it's not only about sports it's not only about uh, what do you call it entertainment yeah. look at climate change look mm -hmm. at uh, uh, sdgs mm -hmm. these are areas where we have a lot of funding mm -hmm. but you know because politics is you know no. uh -huh. <laughs> so in the light up we say that be innovative, be creative, mm. look at the other alternative. Don't follow the key, otherwise you you'll be hungry. Mm. We don't want you to be hungry. <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. yeah. Okay. So okay. I think that there is a way out and then uh, when you come to our end, we'll expose some of these things to you. We'll help you to to get uh, what do you call it, what you the, the needed skills in order to be the person that uh, you ought mm. to be so that you'll not be you know, be behind mm. and then uh, knocking mm. on doors when, mm. in, in fact, you can be your own TV employee. Yeah. Yeah. Th that, that brings me to this question that mm. I'm a journalist. Why the need for you to inculcate in me entrepreneurial skills? I mean, like he said. L I want her to come then. You come yeah. to me. <laughs> okay, you know, like he's actually made mention of, you know, how the way the media is changing mm -hmm. we want people mm -hmm. to stand on their own mm -hmm. we want we don't want you to graduate from you know the university mm -hmm. and you're out there trying to source for a job mm -hmm. there's no employment nowhere mm -hmm. and you're not able to think that i can actually start something on my own mm -hmm. because those people who have companies they started on their own so of we course. want to we imbibe that in you right from the first day that you join the institution, institution and say mm. okay yes we want you to have that entrepreneurial spirit mm. we want you foresight. exactly mm. we want you to think like an entrepreneur mm. while you're going through your studies mm. so we don't want to just restrict you we want mm -hmm. you to create start your own media house you mm. know now it's so easy that you can start your youtube channel just mm -hmm. at home mm -hmm. create mm -hmm. content people would buy your ad space if you if you have enough you know engagement on your platform mm -hmm. so i think that that's it it's it shouldn't just be, oh, okay, I'm done. I need to go and stay, mm. work in a company, mm. you know. But, yes, you can get the training in and mm. all of that. Mm. But then again... The experience. The experience, you yeah. The experience, you, you can start your own and not wait to, you know, be out there and be unemployed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mr. Philip, you wanted to add something? Yes, to yes, yes, yes. You see, um, today, I mean, it is basically difficult. Mm. I mean, look at the journalism schools we have. So many. So, so many. many. How many can your outfit here employ? Mm. Mm. How <laughs> many can other media houses employ? employ? Mm. 
let's assume and you didn't start today that mm -hmm. you are going to place art for uh, what do you call it uh, recruitment mm -hmm. it started long ago i'm sure you, you have your cameraman great cameraman you have you present a nice presenter i mean everybody so it, those who are finishing now <laughs> unless of course you can assure us that <laughs> with, yes, with, a, with a over 200 students in my department i mean they can get they can get employment right away from school. <sighs> uh, it, it, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be us on this company. You know? <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Yeah. So you see, so we say that, hey, don't wait. Mm -hmm. Do something now. While you are in school, do something. In fact, there is a course we teach um, at the department mm -hmm. called uh, Small Skills Development. Okay. You know, it is mandatory. Mm -hmm. uh, that every student you should register a business. Okay. You okay. know, okay. register a business. Mm -hmm. Start something. Come to us. Mm -hmm. Say, say, I started this thing. Is there a way by which I, I can get it done? And they are lecturers, they experienced people who wow. help you to get things done even before you finish. So before you finish school, you already have you something. Already, yeah. So you see. Writing an application will be uh, for employment is a incentive to you mm. by the time you finish mm. Brookridge mm. University mm. College mm. because you know what you are about. Mm. You are on your own. Yeah. You can take care of yourself. You mm. can. I mean, I mean that skill mm. is what we inculcate in you, and I think that is very very important. Mm -hmm. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, considering the the rate of unemployment not only in Ghana but mm. across the no. globe. Especially right? now that there's free education, yeah. the number yeah. of people who are churning into schools mm -hmm. are, are more than the yeah. previous ones. So yeah. if you're going to wait, it's a long wait. Yeah, yeah. And, and you see, um, we always um, mention some great people in society mm -hmm. who are making a big, I mean, when you look at them, I mean, people like Dangote mm -hmm. and all of them that we mentioned, mm -hmm. These are people who dare to be on their own. Mm. Of course, they receive mentorship from institutions, mm -hmm. from people, and all that. Yeah. But they dare to be on, on, on their own. Mm -hmm. And this is what we tell our students. See, if you want to make it, dare to be on your own. Of course, learn from other people. Mm -hmm. Get uh, what experience. you call experience and all that. Mm -hmm. But try and be on your own. Do something. Mm -hmm. And you see, today... Uh, 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 we, we we said we we tell um, um, the youth coming out today mm -hmm. that you are not good. I mean, if you don't, they are looking for two years experience. Yeah. Yeah. Three years experience. Five years experience. <laughs> I wonder where they expect the youth to go and yeah. get that experience from. Yeah. You see, recently, um, let me tell you something interesting. Recently, mm -hmm. in our department of mass communication and journalism, um, we launched a, a volunteering uh, platform where. We say, students, before you finish school, yeah. do a voluntary service job. Okay. You know, by the time you finish, mm -hmm. can you imagine the number of voluntary service work you have done? The experience. Uh, you know, you have the experience, you know. In fact, it will also open your eyes, you know, what to do when you come out of school mm -hmm. and what not to do in order to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my yeah. So, basically, there are a lot of interventions we brought into the school that we believe that it will prepare students to be self-dependent, mm. not dependent. On. They say that when your mouth in somebody's kitchen, mm. you don't have your independence. <laughs> we don't want anybody's mouth to be in somebody's, somebody's kitchen. kitchen. Let yeah. your mouth be in yeah. your own kitchen so that you have your own independence. That's it. I like that. <laughs> yeah, our time, our conversation is getting interesting, <laughs> but time is almost up and we yeah. have to leave here mm. for the next program. So if somebody has watched us, they've seen that this light, because this is, this is something that uh, should be commended, because yeah. imagine if you are a journalist and then you have leadership skills, you have you are innovative, mm -hmm. you have you are abreast with technology, and then you have a little bit of entrepreneurial skills. If if the media is collapsing, like the film and whatever business was collapsing, you know where to run to. If this is going down, you know you are you are stable. It means that whatever happens is like you have four feet 
like this table. If one breaks, there's another to hold yeah, it. If one hold breaks, it, yes. so how do, how does somebody enroll in your school? Because this is great initiative. How do we enroll in your school? So I mean, um, for Blue Cross University, mm. we offer scholarships to our students who can afford to, you know, pay the fees. Wow. Um, it's pretty easy. You can walk into a campus. You mm. can also um, apply online as well. Mm. Recently, we partnered with um, an international institution, Coursera, mm. where we mm. have blended um, learning. Okay. So you know, students can also get certificates from you know what renowned universities outside um, mm. of Africa. Mm. Um, I would say even during the lockdown. Well, one of the institutions that went online mm. and were able to, our students were able to learn regardless of what happened during mm. the course. So it's pretty easy to apply to, you know, our institution. Mm. Just walk into our campus and you meet our counselors who advise you on what mm. um, course that you want to do. Mm. You get to even speak to some of the heads of the department on mm. the one-on-one -on -one, mm. um, basis and, you know, welcome you there too as okay. well. Okay. So, head of department, please <laughs> tell us your location and then if there's a number that uh, people would want to call to I'll come to the school or get more information. Yeah. That's your camera, okay. so you say that. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, we are at um, um, Kukumlimi, okay. adjacent ATTC. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like uh, my colleague said, just walk in. Mm -hmm. um, you can visit um, um, online uh, our website, um, Blue Crest University College. Mm -hmm. um, just log on and you all the information that you need you'll get we also uh, what do you call it on an, all the social media platforms twitter facebook and uh, ig i mean blue crest university college and you see us there and then um, i want to invite everybody i mean just come you know our payment structure is so flexible mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. I mean, we invite you to come. Come here. I'll, I'll uh, come. I'll come. Come, I'll come. come and have an SP. We have we have television studio, radio mm. studio. Mm. I mean, people learn photography. All that you can just mention. And also, of course, you mentioned we have the school of technology. Mm. We have a school of fashion. fashion design. Uh, That's my favorite part, but I can't draw anything <laughs> to save my life, so I won't so, venture. So, so mm. just come and let me um, conclude by. Talking a bit about the um, Coursera course. I mean, mm -hmm. you see, Quickly, uh, yes, uh, Coursera. Mm -hmm. I, I, you see, there are um, certificates when you on, enroll. Mm -hmm. So by the time you even finish your degree, depending on the certificate you want to acquire to enhance your 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 brand, mm -hmm. you can do as many. We we are we have about seven hundred and fifty certificates. Mm -hmm. It depends on you if mm -hmm. you want to, and of course our model that we use the lms we use for mm. teaching and learning so see come we, you are just welcome we mm. need you come let's have that interaction come and get trained and be the next champion mm. in society mm. someone is well. trying to find out whether there are internship uh, programs that are available for you whilst you're schooling at blue crest yes 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 yes, yes yes we have in fact we have an uh, office on it so internship and placement of it wow. yes uh -huh. so students who come through the university mm. um you 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 go on internship program mm. you go um, sometimes industrial and uh, what do you call it um mm placements and all that. I mean, some people have gotten job even before they, they finish school. A lot of organizations come with uh, for want of uh, orders for people to mm. come and work w with them. So, yes, the opportunity is there. Yeah, is there for, for all the students. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming to school. I'm coming back <laughs> oh, to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gain more knowledge on my journalism yeah. because, you know, education, you you'd never stop educating yourself you never yeah. stop going to school so thank you sir and lady for coming someone thank is you. asking on facebook what qualifies you to be a good journalist or what qualifies you to pursue journalism just be bold and then go to blue crest college sure. that is the only thing i'll tell you yeah. this afternoon just be a bold person go to blue crest college and walk then walk in as they <laughs> said just walk in feel free get enrolled and then after that come and then you we would be on the same table sure. <laughs> so I, i'm leaving but this afternoon let me tell you that you are the most beautiful person i know yes you the person watching me so don't be scared like they said be daring dare to uh and, and enter into a sector that you've thought about for so long enter into something that you know sometimes there's some things that god has placed in you dare venture if you feel do it again. Me, I failed in a lot of things, but I'm still doing it. We are still mm. going on. Yeah. Life, we move. So have a wonderful day. <laughs>